Okay, the boys have asked us to go through some stuff, so I'm going to look at radical substitution in terms of the mechanism. Isn't the mechanism is your initiation, propagation, and termination. So what the exam board says is you've got to know for chlorine and for bromine. And you've got to understand about this idea about what does ultraviolet light do. Well, it breaks this chlorine bond. But it breaks it in a way where one electron goes to each chlorine atom. We call that homolytic fission. Why? Homolytic means you form the same. You form two radicals. Homolytic fission. So what happens now? Well, our radical will react with a molecule. Let's just go for an easy one. Let's go for methane. It's so got methane. My radical is going to come along. What's it going to do? It's going to break a bond. Let's have a look at this chloral. Oh, look at methane here. What it's going to do is going to break one of these bonds. So I'm going to make HCl and I'm going to make a CH3 radical. Listen, if it's a molecule going to radicals, that's initiation. If it's a molecule and a radical going to a different molecule and a different radical, that's propagation. So what else could I have? I could get a CH3 coming along and reacting with chlorine to make a CH3Cl and a Cl radical. That is propagation. A molecule, uh, a molecule, a radical and a molecule making a different molecule and a different radical. Finally, uh, what I really want is my molecules, uh, radicals to come together to form a molecule. And if that happens, that's a termination step. Listen, you can't control radical substitutions. They're radical, man, so they'll do whatever they want. But don't worry, the product at the end, you can separate it by fractional distillation.